Mark Zuckerberg's uh, letter from Facebook or Meta, and that made a lot of uh, controversy. Seems like every time he come up, say, come out and say something, he just <laughs> make himself a lot of trouble. So, right? Yeah. Doesn't he have a board along with him? Because I know I he serves as a CEO, as far as I understand it. But I mean, he's got to have like a whole board that advises him and stuff, right? I have no idea, but um, so the so basically, Facebook, uh, you know, Meta came out with a letter saying that they were be they were pressured by the Biden administration during COVID to censor the post that people post. So a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, va vaccines or COVID, any related with the COVID poses, they got took it, you know, they got taken down. And that of course upset a lot of people. And now they, you know, four years later now they turn around and say we were pressured by the, you know, administration. And as we know, that same time we have the election. So I don't know. It did this just kind of lead me to to earlier this week with TikTok. TikTok was was in the in the mix. They were Try to pressure them, and they are saying you gotta, you gotta sell it to their American company or someone who's in America. I think that's the same, you know, play card that they put in for uh, Meta, Facebook. So because I personally been putting out a lot of content, um, more like a controversial content these days on TikTok, and I get you know. My content got removed, and these type of content is it's not like it's not like out there. It's like kind of like what everybody does as well, and it it's like involved with again COVID or even uh, talk about Donald Trump, and I can see the algorithm is controlling that. Anything that has to relate it with uh, Donald Trump, I get less views. <laughs> Anything that related to COVID, even today, they will say. You, we have to remove the guideline. Do you, yeah. So, what do you have? What is your thoughts on that? Do you have any? I'm, um, on honestly, I'm a little surprised at them trying to flex on TikTok, but at the same time, not really. Okay. I mean, TikTok, there's been so much controversy surrounding TikTok. Right. Over the, over the last just decade alone, it's not. It's, it's not surprising at all that they're in the mix, you know. Right. Um, but one of the things I do find disingenuous with TikTok is that they're trying to pressure them into selling it to an American buyer, which to me goes back to you're not really concerned about social media and its effect mm. on the people or youth or any of these things, you just you're just concerned about controlling the message. You know, yes. So I'm like, yeah, let them keep it. I, yes, I mean, and you know, let the Chinese keep it. And it's it's kind of interesting that the the timing that Mark Zuckerberg came out and say this is right after the the ex that Elon Musk interviewed Trump, and mm -hmm. you, know, you know that ex Elon Musk is all about. Uh, free of speech, which I'm very admire of that. I'm I'm also very uh, supportive free of speech. And now they, you know, they he came out right after that. It sounds like okay, you know, <laughs> it seems like oh, if I don't make a move, then I'm gonna Facebook or Meta is gonna be left behind or some sort of that kind of feeling. Yeah, right? it's like a Johnny come lately. But here's the thing: <laughs> it's like he's trying to ingratiate himself with. Trump instead of Harris, you know, and, and that's obvious because he came out. Yeah, first words exactly. out of his mouth was the Biden administration pressure. Yeah, and he's he also said he's not gonna donate, you know, yeah, to the, like, to the Democrats. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you're not gonna donate in your <laughs> wife's name to a political party. Ooh, you know, it, it, it goes back to our earlier conversation when I right. said. Mark Zuckerberg, just like you said before, 
every time this guy opens his mouth to make a <laughs> statement, mm -hmm. it's like for somehow he finds a shovel, and it's right. like, do you, and that's like what I was asking before. Like, does this guy not have a board of directors advising him? I mean, well, I don't know. Honestly, Honestly, does he not have a board of advisors advising him or anybody? Be like, no, mm -hmm. that's not really a good look. We don't really want to go there. Because <laughs> Facebook has been involved in one controversy after another about their legitimacy, period, anyway. Yes. As a social media company. So for you to come out and say the Biden administration pressured me, I felt pressure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everybody's just giving you. We we giving you the side, I mark. Like, that yeah, that makes me also you know think back relate to to the January six when when Trump is be you know canceled across all the platforms. That mm -hmm. that might be also related to the pressure, you know, censorships. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, I just want to sh also share, you know, just to let the audience know if you're on YouTube or if you ever uh, go on my channel, um, I create a lot of posts around what we talk about here. So if if you guys want to check it out, it's under the community. And then we have a lot of, you know, people sharing different thoughts and comments, you know, even someone say, he should put in jail for election interference, you know? So, yeah, so this is, you know, I get, I get that. I'm, huh? Yes, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, again, um, I'm, you know, I'm. we're not going to censor anybody's comment unless you two did it, you know? But, um, yeah, yeah, but, no, I, know, I, I, I would like, I would let Mark Zuckerberg say everything he wants to say. I'm, I'm a full believer in everybody digs their own hole you know right and so yeah i just i just gotta be honest when i say when he says stuff like that it's like you got no you, you got zero miles. credibility whatsoever uh, you know? i hear some did so, you are you playing some video i hear some some noises in the background all right so yeah no uh, the, Plane flew in on the screen, and it's like, no, it's just trying. <laughs> to... right. Well, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it was no, it, you know, when it's when we go back to things that like Mark Zuckerberg has been, that that guy's been in front of a congressional committee. I think he's been in front of a congressional committee more than Trump. Many times with different t subjects, t you know, every, uh, uh, how do you say, it? accusing. Accusing, accusation. Well, I wouldn't say accusation because the congressional committee has no. Uh, the thing about a congressional committee, is, especially that a lot of people don't understand. Okay, let's mm -hmm. just make this quick. I'll make this real quick. A lot of people okay. don't understand. This is how this works. When you hear your government say, or well, our government, when you hear our government say we're going to hold a congressional hearing on A, mm -hmm. B, and C, mm -hmm. a congressional hearing is just an investigation for Congress to gather mm -hmm. more information so that they can make an amendment to a constitution, an adjustment to the amendment to the constitution, mm -hmm. set a or or draft a law for to be put in place. Right. A congressional hearing is no judiciary function whatsoever. There's no there's no legal recourse to a congressional hearing, so when I, that's why whenever I hear somebody talking about oh we're in a congressional hearing and the congressman was tearing into so and so, who cares? Yeah. The only thing you can't do is the only thing you can't do is refuse to show up. Mm -hmm. In which case, you'll get a fine for not showing up. But at the end of the day, who cares? A congressional hearing is just an investigation for Congress to consider law, you know, to consider passing laws. So it, it was developed so that Congress could investigate more issues mm. so that they and make sure that they had all the A's, B's, C's, dotted I's and cross T's, mm -hmm. you know, as they're drafting legislation for a law. That that's it. 
you know, if you're not, if you're talking about you want know, trouble, judiciary mm-hmm. trouble, court trouble, or something. No, you got to go to court. Like Congress, Congress, and congressional Congress cannot overturn anything Supreme Court says. Period. Yeah. <clears throat> they can write a new law, but they can't overturn interpretation or create interpretation. Yeah, what well, I want to just <laughs> mention this every time we getting, talk about we it. talk about we talk about uh, law or what whatnot. I want to make a disclaimer: we're not lawyer, we're not attorney. Okay. So yes, whatever please. we talk about here, it's yeah, just our own opinion. We are not. We're yeah, just we, our own opinions, entertainment purpose. So yeah, talk about. Is, only reason I know <laughs> this is because I looked up what a congressional hearing was for. Okay. That doesn't so, mean I'm an expert on it. Yes. So we don't, by, you know, <laughs> we're not giving yeah, any, oh man. any law, I any, any out there now. law advice. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. 